Hey, hey, friends. Welcome back or welcome if you are new. My name is Sammy and welcome back to this week's What's for Lunch. This week I do have five meal ideas for you or I should say lunch ideas for you. Um, two of them were takeout though because one of them was my birthday lunch and then Friday I didn't have anything to take. We didn't have any leftovers or anything here at the house I ordered Papa John's. <laughs> But I do have the other ones to kind of give you some ideas or, um, you know, if you have leftovers, you can always take it as your lunch as well. But I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, and think about subscribing and becoming part of my YouTube family because I would absolutely love to have you. Yes, I am channeling um, Minnie Mouse or Princess Leia or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> But I thought I'd do something cute with my hair today. So that's what I did. But anyways, I had sidetrack moment. But anyways, I hope you like this video. But let's get on into it, y'all. Come on, let's go. Alright y'all, so I'm getting ready to prep stuff for my lunches and my husband's lunches this week. So I'm going to go ahead and make some chicken salad. Probably almost all of this, but I'm going to save some of it for a wrap this week too. One or two, I should say. Anyways, you'll need some mayonnaise, mustard, hot sauce, black garlic seasoning, dill weed, and sweet relish. So that's all you need. I'm just going to go ahead and mix all that up together. I do have a printable recipe, which I'll link down below. And... I'll link my original video. All right, y'all. So here I'm just going to and show you the wraps that I'm using. These are the Everything's, the Tofuyan, Tofuyan wraps. There's my homemade chicken salad. And I'm going to use this half and half like a spring mix. It's got baby spinach and romaine and some something else like a green in there. I can't remember the name of it. But I'm going to go ahead and just get me enough out to just fill this little container up. Um, here. Oh, just a couple scoops will do it. <laughs> this stuff is so good. I don't know if y'all have given it a try or if you have your own chicken salad recipe, but this one is so good. Um, so I will have that recipe for this chicken salad and everything linked below. And I'll try to remember to link the original video where I showed y'all how to make it, but I will have the printable version of my chicken salad recipe linked below. I do know that. But anyways, I'm just going to go ahead, I've already got the chicken salad packed up, so I'm just going to go ahead and put some greens here in this little sandwich baggie. I did not want to make the wraps because I did not want the chicken salad to make the wraps soggy. So I'm just going to go ahead and fold the wraps up right here, put them in another baggie, and I did hard boil some eggs to kind of go with lunch. I had two of those for breakfast that morning when I got to work though, and then I had two of them for my lunches. But here is the finished plate, and y'all, this was like a perfect combination. It was so, so good, and I was absolutely stuffed after that lunch, <laughs> but it was really good, y'all. Alright y'all, so for this lunch, it was my birthday, and we just decided to go down to the little market down the road from the office, and I absolutely love their salads, so that's what I got, was just a chef salad with their homemade ranch dressing, and then I realized I didn't record, and I'd already started pouring the dressing, <laughs> but anyways, that was lunch this day y'all, and it was so, so good. I love their salads from down there. Absolutely delicious and scrumptious for a birthday lunch. All 
right? So right here, I just had some leftover Tuscan chicken pasta, minus the chicken because I never have any leftover chicken. It never fails. <laughs> the chicken always gets eaten. But anyways, I went ahead and just packed up some of the pasta, which is just as good by itself but that's what I did. I just went ahead and packed it up and then heated it up around lunchtime and this was so good y'all. This pasta is even good the next day. Oh, so good. I'll have that recipe also linked below if you want to try that one out as well. and I'm having more leftovers. <laughs> this is um, a week of leftovers, it seems like, minus the two days that we um, went and got some lunch out. But here I'm just taking the leftover pork chops and some green beans and potatoes. You will actually see the recipe for this video on Friday in the cookbook collab, so I hope you come back to watch that one as well. But I just went ahead and sliced it on up and just, um, just as it is. <laughs> there was nothing extra special to this. It was absolutely delicious though. In that little bowl, I just had some garlic, parsley, and butter in there with a little bit of Worcestershire sauce to kind of dip everything in if I wanted to, and it was absolutely scrumptious. And last but not least on this video was some Papa John's. I didn't have nothing else to take to work here, so I treated myself and I got some of their little cinnamon bites that they have there. Those things were amazing. I think I ate about two bites of it after <laughs> I had my um, Papadilla right here. I get the Italian one. Um, it's the Parmesan crusted Italian Papadilla. It's got the Italian sausage, pepperoni, ham, um, banana peppers, and all kinds of cheese, and it's just all kinds of delicious. <laughs> but that was my lunch for this day, and y'all, if y'all haven't tried these, let me know, or if you've tried them, let me know. These are my absolute favorite, and I gotta have ranch to dip it in because that's just me, y'all. <laughs> but that was lunch this day, and it was absolutely delicious. <laughs> All right, y'all, that is it for this week's What's for Lunch. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave me a comment below and let me know. Give me a thumbs up and think about subscribing because I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. And, you know, comment on my videos, guys, and give me a thumb up thumbs up it really really does help my channel so so much and I just want to say I love and appreciate each one of you all and I thank you all so much for the love and support I wouldn't have gotten this far without you all so thank you so much and thank you for all of the kind words um, and encouragement and just y'all are just so sweet and I love all of y'all but until next time my friends God bless bye